Hello, and welcome to the Responsive Web Development with Bootstrap and Angular course. This course is for people who want to learn how to build responsive websites. Along the way, we will be using two very popular libraries, Bootstrap and Angular, and both in their latest version. We will be using SAS in the SCSS format for the styling. And by the end of this course, you will have built a user-friendly application for any device. After a brief introduction, we will set up our development environment and immediately start working on the application. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Faris Tita. I'm a senior developer and I have been working on a wide variety of applications for over a decade. Earlier in my career, I had a focus on the .NET stack. I'm currently working as an Angular expert consultant. I started heavily focusing on web technologies in the past six years right around the time Angular first appeared. I had the opportunity to work and deploy production-ready application with every version of Angular. Let's move on to the course overview. In section 1, we will have a brief introduction to responsive web design, and then we will set up our development environment to get ready to code. In section 2, we will have a look at what the Angular CLI is. After installing it, we will use it to create our Angular project. Once our project is ready, we will have a look at the project structure. In section 3, we are taking a look at Bootstrap. After a small introduction, we will add Bootstrap to our project. In section 4, and after a brief explanation about our website structure, we will create our components and add routing. Then we will create our navigation bar and footer. In section 5, we will create our home page. For that, we will need the Angular Material Library, so we will add it. With the help of Bootstrap and the Material Components, we will create our layout. In Section 6, we will create our Portfolio page. We will learn how to create a service that calls an API, and then we will display and filter the list provided by our service. In Section 7, we will create our Contact page. We will display contact information, and then we create a contact form, and we will see how to connect our contact form without creating a backend. And finally, in section 8, we will create our production build. After that, we will have a look at how we can optimize our website. We will also see that since we used SaaS in our website, it's very simple to change the look and feel. This course is intended for developers with a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript who would like to extend their skills and knowledge to build professional responsive web applications. So let's get started.